What memories are you making with your kids? Well, during the course of parenting six children, we seem to always be kind of cash poor. And while a trip to Hawaii as a family would have been nice, we ended up doing a lot of road trips. Road trips give, let's just say, opportunities to experience togetherness. You put six kids in a van and you go camping. And what should be a three hour trip becomes a seven hour trip because you've got vehicle problems. Yeah, it's all happy and good until things start falling apart and then they're hungry and then we're finding ourselves thinking, ah, and they're starting to cry and I'm starting to get frustrated. Eh, that's a memory. I'm not saying it's a good one, but it's a memory. Or how about the time that we went camping and we did really, did you notice camping is a thread here? We did really well um, with the mosquitoes and with the rain. I mean, we can manage that. Um, but then the bear came along and we kind of had to abandon the plan. We hightailed at home, got in our beds about two o'clock. I don't think we minded waking up that morning in, uh, in our beds. That was a good thing shared experiences. Or how about the road trip as we're going through Nebraska on I-80 and the Suburban does a little slide because I hit black ice during the nighttime drive. That was a heart stopper and I still get a little bit uh, of a panic attack just thinking about what could have happened. I have eight people in this thing. God was very gracious. My point simply is that if you do life together enough with your kids, you're making memories. You may not plan the picture book kind of memories, but God's going to give you some really good bonding times. So check out the link and catch the whole conversation with Matt and Adam. They have some great insights about making meaningful time with your kids. And if you can think of a good one to share, let us know your family memory story.